Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to set a static IP within Windows Server 2022. Before we get into that, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are on Windows Server 2022, and the Server Manager comes up automatically. Just to show you guys, if it's not there, we can hit the Start key and just type Server Manager and run it that way. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go to Local Server, and then here we can click on Ethernet. This is gonna bring us to the network connections here. We can right click on the Ethernet and hit Properties and we're gonna to go to Internet Protocol version four. We'll just double click into that and then here is exactly where we can set that static IP. So <clears throat> by default, it will say obtain an IP address automatically. Instead, we're gonna select use the following IP address. Now, if you're not sure what to put in those boxes here, we can run our CMD and then typing IP config we're gonna get our IPv4 address as well as our default gateway and the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So in order to set the static IP, uh, here I just put the IPv4 address into the IP address box, okay? And then the subnet mask here, uh, default gateway. Again, I'm just using the uh, what's on the internet router. And then I used the same uh, IP address for my preferred DNS. And then maybe if you wanna provide an alternate DNS server, uh, we could do something like this. And then you just press okay. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So from that point, we can press okay here. And then just to check again, we'll go back into server manager. We'll click here, right click properties. And then on the IPv4 box here, we should have our static IP. So make sure both so make sure both boxes are checked on use the following, and then it's not going to be automatically uh, setting your IP. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found it helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions about any part of the process, drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now feel free to put any videos that you'd like for us to cover in the description, and we'll add it to our list. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.